We're just working on a few minor projects this weekend. This one just popped up. Chris went to Home Depot yesterday. We have these uh, outside lights. I've actually already got started on the project, as you can see. So these lights were installed here. You can see they weren't really installed right. So there's no real fixture behind there. The uh, wire just comes through the wall, comes down and ties into the outside light. So we were just gonna temporarily put them in the same position for now. Um, Chris got some nice new lights here. Well, it's actually got a globe on it, or not a globe, but it's got a metal piece that comes down over it. A little bit more our style than the other one. She's gonna take the old one, sand it down, repurpose it, paint it either a hammered copper or a, a flat black, and then she'll just uh, sell them, pass them on to someone else. So what we're gonna do now that uh, I see that they don't have a box in here, we were just gonna remount those lights here. But because it doesn't have a box and it's too close to the edge here, to put those lights here, the new lights here. Um, she doesn't want them here in, in the end anyway, but we're gonna reside probably next spring after we get everything completely done on the inside, get the remodel finished. So we weren't going to relocate these because we would have a hole here. Well, now that there's no hole here, I'm just gonna go ahead and relocate these lights. Chris is gonna come and mark where she wants them, but closer in here to the door. So, uh, you know, obviously the front faces the road here. Uh, right now our steps come off the sides we're moving those steps i'm going to put some oversized steps here that kind of i think wrap around um, or rounded steps not wrap around the entire house but some large steps that have uh you know basically steps in the front steps on the side coming up from here so what she wants is this uh these lights to be centered so she will mark those lights i'll finish taking these lights down and then relocate the wires inside, which I needed to do anyway, uh, and basically tie them in right here. So that's what we're working on right now. A few other small projects this weekend as well. All right, Chris has got the lights marked right above me. We're actually gonna go up a little higher than that. That's the recommended location that she looked up, but uh, she walked out in the yard, looked at it, thought it looked a little low. So we're gonna go up about four to six inches. So I'm going to get ready to mount that light. Uh, first, we gotta. I'm gonna peel back the. Well, first I'm gonna remark it and then cut it out with an oscillating tool and clean up the siding there where we're gonna mount it so we can get a flush mount onto the OSB behind the siding. Uh, and then inside we'll go in and uh, drill a hole, or actually we'll drill a hole from out here. Rerun our wires from the inside, pass them through the hole, and get this thing installed. Um, I'll probably need to go down and get a actual fixture box. Uh, from Dobson Lumber to mount this light, but we'll get it going on it here and cross that bridge when we come to it. Whenever you're down out in the cold faithless and dark your story's untold Come take my hand and walk there with me. I know a place where we can be free. There is a light shining for you, guiding your way, helping you through. And shadows and gloom are all that you see. We had a productive day today at the homestead. So it was a maintenance day kind of and finishing up small projects. But Chris snuck in a, uh, a new project as well that was a little larger than I anticipated. So uh, the first thing I finished up this morning was the motion detector lights. So a little bit of our security. I did a few others before. We've got this one right up here which kind of protects out in the yard and then underneath our carport, which is where our motorcycles are. And eventually we'll have our truck parked here. We got one back there for the back side of the yard and underneath where the motorcycles are as well. We've got one underneath the awning, which we put up the awning last week. So that's not new. And then we also have 
one in front of the office here. You can see front of the office there. Those fixtures were already there. We just got motion detector bulbs for them. And then around the back where we park our tractors, I put another one of those motion detector LED lights up. So that was the first project, getting those lights done. Um, the second project was um, actually replacing the porch lights in the front. Chris picked up two new porch lights she liked. We were going to relocate them later and just replace them where they're at because we didn't want to have holes in the siding until we get the house completely done and we reside. But I'll go over there and show you what happened there. It turned into be a little bit bigger job in just a moment. So the other thing that uh, Chris worked on today was a raised garden flower bed. So we check out this uh, raised garden flower bed here. It's pretty cool. Coming up on it here. It really only took her, you know, maybe half an hour, an hour to build this thing and get it all planted. So she just used some uh, two by six boards that used to be the workbench in the property that we purchased here. We had taken it apart. She just cut those to size, pocket hole screwed them, and she got some of her uh, favorite herbs and some veggies to put in there. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, let's see. Let's talk about the, or let's show you the other thing Chris did today too. So we had bought a couple of things at an auction a couple weeks ago and Chris has repurposed them. They're gonna go on the front porch as well, which is where I replaced the lights. So we're remodeling the entire inside. And I probably, if it was me, I probably wouldn't be fixing up the outside, but it's actually pretty nice that Chris is going ahead and re kind of what do they call it? Curb appeal. She's got some curb appeal going on. You can't tell that the outside of the house really, it's uh, under construction on the inside. So we've got a porch swing and a porch bench that she has uh, refinished. And she just painted those today. So we'll get those installed probably tomorrow and get the porch bench moved up here on the porch. So you can see the porch. We're gonna replace the beams, the posts at some point with six by six posts, I think. We have restained the decking. The decking's in pretty good shape. Um, but what we worked on today was replacing these lights. So there were lights here very much on the corner and there was one all the way down there on the far corner. Um, we thought we were gonna have holes, but it looks, they just, they just surface mounted it right on the siding. Um, not the best way to do it. Uh, these cables are dead. Um, so there was no hole. So I talked to Chris about, you know, do you wanna just mount them here for now. Well, the base of the ones she has are larger, so it would have been kind of a problem to mount here. And since we didn't have holes in the house, I just went ahead and offered to go ahead and run them to the location she wanted. So we basically re-ran these new lights and they're operational. Um, so they are on motion detector like the rest of our lights. And here was the other one down here. So we'll cut these off take them out and then uh, you can see where we put those lights in the edges the way the siding is they don't sit perfectly um, when we redo the sizing after we're completely done with the inside and regrading the yard and all of that when we finish this entire deck here the, I'm sure the siding installers we're gonna have somebody do the siding most likely or someone helping with the siding and we will make them a little bit better cosmetically.